This lesson is on the most common side effects of amlodipine use, which is also known as Norvasc. So we'll discuss how amlodipine works, and we'll then talk about those most common side effects and why those most common side effects occur. So amlodipine is a medication used to reduce blood pressure. So it's often going to be prescribed for patients who have high blood pressure. It also reduces the risk of cardiac complications and strokes, and it also treats chest pain in chronic stable angina. Now, amlodipine is a calcium channel blocker, meaning that it reduces blood pressure by blocking calcium channels. So calcium channels act to bring calcium in to certain types of cells. Those cells will then lead to vascular smooth muscle contraction. So there'll be a squeezing of the blood vessels. And when you squeeze on something, you're going to increase the pressure. So if you're going to block those calcium channels, you're going to block influx of calcium into those cells, and you're going to inhibit vascular smooth muscle contractility. So that's going to lead to an opening up of blood vessels vasodilation, and that's going to lead to a reduction in pressure inside the blood vessel. Now the problem is that the way amlodipine works can lead to particular side effects, and these include edema. So with regards to amlodipine, edema is going to be an important side effect of amlodipine use, edema is going to be swelling of the extremities. Most often we're going to see swelling of the legs, but we can also see swelling of the ankles as well. This will be a bit more rare as the legs will be the one that are most likely to be swelled up or edematous, but we can see it in the ankles as well. The reason that edema occurs is because of vasodilation. So if we're leading to an opening up of blood vessels are going to lead to increased blood flow into the capillary beds. So the capillaries in your skin, and in your tissues, are going to experience more blood flow. The problem is that when you have more blood flow going through capillaries, there's going to be some fluid that gets leaked out of the capillaries. And this is going to lead to fluid in the space outside of the blood vessel. This is going to lead to swelling. And this is going to be generally the most common side effect of amlodipine use. Roughly 10 to 15% of patients will have edema. A second common side effect of amlodipine use is a headache. So headaches can generally occur with a lot of antihypertensive medications or medications that are used to reduce blood pressure. And what we will see is that it's going to be a more pulsatile-like headache, so be a throbbing or pulsating type of headache. This too is also due to vasodilation. The reason is that there is vasodilation, an increase of blood flow. There's more blood flow going through that blood vessel. This can also occur in the head as well. And what will then be noted is that because of that increased blood flow in the head, certain pain receptors in the head can also be triggered by that increased blood flow. This is postulated to be the reason for a headache in amlodipine use. What's good about this particular side effect is that it is going to be temporary, meaning that when you start amlodipine, within one to two weeks, we can see a reduction or a resolution of this headache. And we can more often see this occurring with higher doses of amlodipine. In some cases, in certain types of headaches, amlodipine can even be utilized as a treatment for headaches. So in the case where you're taking amlodipine for blood pressure issues, when you first start taking it, you can have a headache, that pulsating, throbbing-like headache. It's going to be temporary. It'll get better over time. And generally, up to 10% of patients will experience a headache. And the third most common side effect of amlodipine use is dizziness. So dizziness is going to be what we would describe as presyncope, just feeling a little lightheaded. In some cases, patients may fall over or faint. We can more specifically see this worsened with what we would call orthostatic hypotension. So that would be where we have a reduction in blood pressure when we first stand up quick. If we're sitting down or lying down and we stand up very quickly, we can have a drop of our blood pressure and we may feel even more dizzy. This too is also another important and common side effect of a lot of high blood pressure medications. The reason we see busyness in amlodipine use is due to overcorrection of the blood pressure. So that means that if we have high blood pressure, you're taking the medication, but perhaps the dose is too high. The dose is bringing down your blood pressure too much. The blood pressure is too low. You start to feel dizzy. That can be one reason. Other reasons could be perhaps patients have some liver function issue. 
So amlodipine is metabolized by particular enzymes in the liver, and those particular enzymes are CYP3A4. That particular enzyme metabolizes amlodipine. And if you have some liver disease, you can have issues with functioning of that enzyme, and we can have elevated levels of amlodipine higher than they should and for longer than they should. This can lead to dizziness as well. Or if you are perhaps eating too much grapefruit. Now it may sound strange, but grapefruit itself inhibits that same enzyme we just mentioned, CYP3A4. It inhibits that enzyme in the liver. And if you're eating a lot of grapefruit, that can lead to suppression of that liver enzyme. And that can also lead to elevated or too high levels of amlodipine as well. So that can also be a reason. Or you may be on another medication like a particular antibiotic, for instance, like a clarithromycin or erythromycin. Or if you're on certain antidepressants like fluoxetine or Prozac, for instance, those can also impact how that particular liver enzyme functions. So often the correction for dizziness is going to be either a change in some other medication, a reduction in the dosing of amlodipine or removal of certain dietary factors like grapefruit consumption, for instance. I hope you found this lesson helpful. Please check out my full lesson on amlodipine for more information on some more side effects of amlodipine use. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. And as always, thanks so much for watching and hope to see you next time.